Good afternoon everybody, this is a special bulletin for uh, IndyCar, my name is Gordon Ross. It's come to my attention today from several sources in Edinburgh that there's something very suspicious going on uh, at the Scotland office. It seems that uh, David Mundell has been luring away civil servants from Holyrood Parliament with the promise of pay rises and higher grades if they'll come and work for his new Scottish office team. This has been done very quietly and it's not official in any way but this is my understanding of the news that's coming out from Edinburgh. And not only is he luring them away with um, promises of bigger bigger pay rises and better conditions, he's also opened, quietly opened, a little office down, well not so much a little office, he's opened a large office in Leith in which to put all of these new civil servants. Now why would a Scottish office which claims to have only five full-time staffers suddenly need to hire between 70 and 100 people um, if it wasn't planning to do something with those people? It seems that Mundell is preparing the way for something to happen. Now something which is likely to happen after Brexit. Otherwise why would he go to the bother of procuring so many uh, new civil servants to work in the Scotland office where previously his his role in Scotland has been largely as a go-between between the Scottish government and the British government. Now it seems like he's preparing to take over power in Edinburgh himself. So why would he need 70 to 100 people if he's currently running his office with just five? And why did his expenses suddenly shoot up by about 400% in the last year or so? Um, there's evidence to suggest that this plan, whatever it is, has been in the offing for some time, certainly since the Brexit vote uh, was arrived at. Now, every cloud has a silver lining as far as the British government is concerned, and the Brexit cloud silver lining for them would be the chance to shut Holyrood down and take over Scotland without uh, anybody to oppose them and to be able to suck as much uh, potential uh, benefit and profit from Scotland while they're Brexiting because they're going to need all the money they can get to finance the massive losses that are going to be incurred in the economy. So it makes sense for the Tories to plot an internal coup for after the power grab. So when the repeal bill uh, is published and becomes law and is enacted and I think that's going to be a lot sooner than anybody thinks, suddenly Scotland will have no defence against the repeal bill stripping powers from Holyrood. Now, those powers could be removed one at a time, they could be removed all at once, they could be removed in clumps, but the point is that eventually Holyrood will be torn apart and eventually just closed down and Mundell will be there with his hundred civil servants on their high pay down in Leith Docks ready to take over control of Scotland for the Tory government. Now, it sounds like a, just a big scare story but the people who have been passing this information are getting it from sources inside uh, Holyrood itself. Now I can't say any more than that because I don't want anybody to get into trouble but the news that's leaking out is unsubstantiated at the moment or looking for proof of it but if it's true and if Mundell really is doing this, if he really is doing this child catcher routine where he's luring people out of the Scottish Parliament uh, with promises of massive pay rises if they come and work for the British state in this new office somewhere in Leith. It would make a lot of sense because, as I said many times, if I was in charge of the United Kingdom and I knew that Brexit was going to cripple the economy, the first thing I would want to do is neutralise uh, the Scottish independence movement completely, get rid of the SNP and take complete control of the entire country and every resource it has because that's the only way Brexit is going to be mitigated for the Tories is if they have access to every Scottish resource and the one thing that's standing between them and our resources is of course ourselves, the Scottish Parliament and the, the various MSPs and parties inside it who want to prevent it. There are events going to be staged at the Holyrood Parliament in March, on the 23rd and 24th of March in fact, and these will be big public events um, to generate uh, a lot of publicity to draw people's attention to the fact that Holyrood is now being threatened by a coup by the British government. That's the way it seems, okay? Now, as I say, these are unconfirmed reports, but 
I have sources uh, all over Scotland who pass information to me. And this, it seems to me, makes some kind of sense. So if it's true, and the proof has been found that Mundell has been secretly hiring uh, a whole new department of civil servants, then we have to ask Mundell why is he doing it. And if it's found out that he's been up to this, then I think the best thing that we could do then is for the Scottish parliamentarians to get Mundell into a committee and grill him and find out what the hell he's up to and why he's been hiring extra staff when he allegedly only needs five and has his little office and has his photocopier and has his hotline between himself and, and uh, the Tory leader in London. So something definitely smells very bad about this and it wouldn't surprise me in any way if there isn't some kind of plot going on. Remember that the Tories are adept at this and the British government is particularly good at wrong footing and being one step ahead of everybody else. So plotting a coup which will take place almost immediately as soon as the repeal bill comes into effect wouldn't surprise me and it also wouldn't surprise me if the repeal bill's enactment was brought forward so it happens well before the Brexit date on the 29th of March. I anticipate sometime in this summer there's going to be a big emergency because if this is true and Mundell is assembling a new, uh, a new Scottish office from which to govern Scotland as Viceroy, then we need to know about it now and we need to unmask the man now before he gets any further because public opinion in Scotland is not in the Tories' favour. If Mundell is doing this, if it's true, and I'm not saying that this is definitely true, this is just a, a series of, of reports that have come my way from various sources which are telling me this. If they're true, and if proof is found that Mundell has been secretly building a new shadow cabinet, then we need to know about it. And that needs to be publicised and Mundell needs to be brought to account because there is no way that the Scottish Secretary should be plotting a coup in Scotland against our own Parliament. It's just unacceptable. I also know that uh, the Scottish Government is making legal representations to protect Holyrood and they're going to a much higher court than the Supreme Court in London to do so. There are a lot of moves going on in the background that you're not hearing about, both to threaten Scotland and also to protect it. And we can only hope that our own parliamentarians, our own government and our own uh, ministers are doing their very, uh, working their hardest to protect Holyrood from this potential power grab and this now it seems this coup that's being plotted by Mundell's department in Edinburgh. That's all I have to say. As I say, these are unconfirmed reports, but it's worrying all the same. These are coming from several sources within Edinburgh itself, within the sphere of the Edinburgh Parliament. I can't say any more than that, but various people are looking for proof at the moment to check these allegations out. But if they're true, it wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. And I think everybody who watches this show is probably deeply suspicious of everything that Mundell does, especially now that we've found that the former Carillion boss is one of his advisors and charges £300 per meeting to give advice to Mundell. Now, that's that's pretty hefty sum, if you think about it. It's the equivalent, as somebody else pointed out, of the Scottish House of Lords where you get a flag-waving unionist anti-independence man whose reward is to come and have a cup of tea every couple of days and get £300 for doing so at our expense. Frankly, I think everything about Mundell and his office stinks to high heaven and I hope that we find him, catch him red-handed at this secret coup that he's planning and put him on the stocks and ask him what the hell he's up to and make sure that we do it on television and in the press. This man deserves to be exposed if he's up to no good behind our backs. If he's plotting to bring down Holyrood, then Holyrood needs to know about it right away. Bye for now.